Are you are you serious? What? You were handing me trash and you throw it on the floor first. It's not trash. Dude. Can you hand me the trash now? No. Keep the studio clean? Oh, let's keep the studio clean. Hmm. It looks like fucking Home Depot in here right now. Right now? That was just brought in yet. Okay, you know what? This is stuff that people sent us. All right, this is from Casey from Lacey Washington. Berries? Oh, I can't have a fucking colander in here. No. Nah. Gotta keep the studio clean. <laughs> fucking wise ass. Uh, this is from Casey from Lacey Washington. Speaking of clean studio, did you steal the Master Sword? No, I did not steal Bullshit, where's it at? I didn't fucking steal the Master Sword. I haven't steal... The only thing I fucking stole on here is uh, a factory sealed skydiver on 2600. <laughs> Uh. Casey says, hey guys, thanks for the hours of entertainment. Keep on farting, not sharting, Billy. Farting, I haven't sharted farting. in a while, all right? Okay, we got a Star Wars pop-up book. That's pretty cool. I guess that goes to me. That's cool and good. Does it go to you, or does this go to Melvor? I mean, I guess. You know what? I think Melvor might actually have that. If he doesn't, then it'll go to you next. The Wizard on VHS. My King's Quest Five. Mine. Called it. Some of that big box... Sierra Goodness. This is actually a really fun game. I played these growing up. It's a really fun game. That's a really good game. Do you have this one? Do I have five? I don't think I have five, but that's yours. You just called it. Oh, okay. There must be something in that box you really want. No. Game Over by David Sheff. How Nintendo zapped an American industry, captured your dollars, and enslaved your children. I would read that, Ooh. but there's no pictures in it. I can't read, so that could... Go to you or Melbourne. Winning tips for Nintendo, newest game strategies, which is actually perfect timing considering I just started doing a tips, cheats, and tricks series on my channel. On this channel. And hot tips, hot tips for Nintendo. Mine. And moving right along here, we've got, um, we got one of those little things, little, what are these things called? With little balls and you get the balls on the thing. It's balls called a thing with mouth. balls. Thing with balls. That's thing with balls. TIE Fighter Star Wars game. I actually have that one. And then goes the Melbourne. There you go. We got two Nintendo DS games, Indiana Jones and Indiana Jones 2 in the Lego series. Those are really good games, actually. I like See, those. I guess I'll take those. I could use some more. Uh, I don't like Lego games, but... Oh, look. This is from uh, Mario Brothers 3. Oh. Happy Meal Toys. Oh, from I will definitely take that. Because uh, I don't have the uh, squishy thing on mine. No? No. Now you do. Actually, this is really damn good condition, too. It's in really good condition. Here. What if this is sealed from when it was... Might be. I think it... Ha actually, yeah, that actually has been sealed. I think this has been sealed since it was made. Um, because this thing looks like there's no scuff on it or anything. That's pretty awesome, actually. Here, we got some turtles. Turtles, turtles. Oh, it's turtles! I actually need Leo, so hey, that's awesome. Are you gonna show them the turtles or not? I see it in my hands. You gonna show them the GI Joes? They're not GI Joes, they're just ninjas. Oh, okay. Well, there you go, they're ninjas. You're really not gonna go through the turtles. Okay, no, it's fine, it's fine. Raphael. Thank you, Casey. Michelangelo with nunchuck action. Uh, Leonardo, another Raphael, and paratrooping Leo. I don't know why a ninja needs grenades, but how about He's Army, got Army Leo? I don't know why Ninja Turtle needs to be Dracula and Frankenstein, but they were. This is from, uh, to get to do, 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 I see a name called Sebastian. Polazar? Not Polazar, just Sebastian from, no. I don't know where yet. We'll find out. In the letter, perhaps. What up, Cho? Just a package from that weird guy in Norway that stalked you in the street, remember? Oh, is that the guy who like just recognized us when we were I out in the so. hustle? That's kind of funny. So. Yeah. The Grimma's game is for Billy. Woo! That is for stupid. The rest can divide as you want. Talking about uh, 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 oh wow, oh whoa, wait, 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 hold up. Talking about Melvor. He is so damn cute, kind of like the Teddy Ruxpin of the 21st century. Thank you guys for being with uh, with me through hard times. The Love fuck is wrong with you? 
Love from Sweden. So Sebastian from Sweden. I think it's Sebastian. I really... It looks like Sebastian. Donk Diddy Kong. Or the fuck Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. Bullshit. I don't fucking know. I don't, I'm not a big Donkey Kong guy. Let me see. Guy. Oh, actually, this is Mega Man in Donkey Kong style. I just realized that. Yeah. Okay, and then this is Sonic and Mega Man style. Sonic and Mega Man, Mega Man style. This is for the stupid Melbourne. Yeah, he's pretty stupid. This is for you, the stupid you. Holy shit! Apple II. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. What do we got here? Uh, we got some. We got some accessories here from Rando uh, Toys. We got a He-Man shield. Um, we've got a proton pack from Ghostbusters, and what is this? I just don't know what that gray thing is. I don't know what that gray thing is. Cause I don't know about toys. Okay, you tell me what it is, then, smartass. It's the graviton. Oh yeah? Yeah. You just make that up? No, it's the fucking graviton. From what? The fucking He-Man. What do you mean? You're a fucking liar, and you're bad at it. Would you rather fuck Bret Hart or DDP? <sighs> Bret Hart's pretty fucking whiny. DDP, I guess. I like how Scott Hart's chest, I don't know, he, he just makes hair on your chest look good. It's, You're not wrong. Here, speaking of looking good, there's Peach looking all cute. At all. <laughs> Dude, he packages this stuff in the most random of shit. I love it. These are socks. Uh, one up sock, one up socks, packaged in look, what looks like a school pouch, pencil pouch. No, I'm gonna wear these. Okay, um, and then the rest is packaged with, well, this. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Hang on, wait. Here, hold that. There's, wait, there's is, more. Is this your version of, of bubble wrap? Wait, hang on, wait. There's more. What the hell? Yo, you know what I could use these for? You know what these are? These are record sleeves. Last package is for me, Billy, and Melvor. has our names on it, from Adam. From Germantown, Maryland. Germantown, Maryland may seem like a quite little town slash city located about 40 minutes outside of both Baltimore and Washington, D.C. Inside this town, though, you may just find a little bit of joy. With terrible traffic, attitude-driven people, a lot of just nothing to do at all. But at the end of the day, you may just find the exact charm you're looking for by living in Germantown, Maryland. It's okay for me to make these jokes because I personally lived in Germantown, Maryland for 11 years, so don't get angry. If you guys have seen packages open that you had to have Melvor here for, um, sorry, it just couldn't happen. We've actually been sitting on these for over a month. Uh, he's had, he's been extremely busy. J. Billy Melvor, thank you so much for all the hours of entertainment. Your videos always brighten my day. Here's a small token of my appreciation. Love, Adam. Dude, don't swipe the knife at me. What's don't the matter with you? Don't fucking put your arm in the fucking path of the knife. Okay, that's one way to look at it. Idiot. It's only an idiot if an accident fucking happens. <laughs> it's only an idiot if an accident happens. How about we just avoid the accident and we start with this book right here? Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Actually. Oh, wow, check this out. Comics from Star Wars, The Phantom Menace. That's awesome. Thank you. Did you say what the book was? Uh, autobiography of uh, the, it's, uh, I'm assuming just like a history of the comics and Ninja There's Link. Here's some Silly Putty. I fucking love Silly Putty. Here's a C-3PO clicker pin. Eh, Melbourne. Here's a enamel pin series. Here, open that. While you're opening that. We've got USA Today Crossword Challenge on the DS. Oh, it's a pin. Speaking of... Ugh, speaking of Game Boy games. I Spy Challenge. Star Wars... Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. It's a really good game. And Frogger's Adventures. All on Game Boy Advance. Frogger. And a... Bump It. The instant solution to any problem. Here, blow that up. <laughs> blow. <laughs> mm. And Star Wars The Force Awakens. It's better than The Last Jedi. <laughs> oh, we put all Melbourne shit in there. It is better than The Last Jedi, ain't it? Alright, so you're going to blow that up before we say goodbye. No, I'm not. 
Blow it up. No nuts. Nope. 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 No nuts. Thank you, Casey. Sebastian. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Funding for the Game Chasers and the Shady J Show is made possible from our patrons on Patreon. Thank you.